Hi guys, this is Dr. Salman Yazan. What we're going to do today is go over the major bones of the upper extremity and talk about some of the bone markings that are on that one. We can see this articulating section, which is going to be your left upper extremity. It's composed of the upper part, which is the humerus, then the forearm or brachium part, which is going to be on the medial side, you have the ulna, on the lateral side, we have the radius, and you have the eight carpal and also the metacarpal and phalanges in your arm. Starting from the top and going to the bottom, that the first part is going to be the head of the humerus, and this is the head that articulates with the glenoid cavity of the clavicle. As it comes down to the shaft region, you will see a couple of bumps here. These are known as a greater and lesser tubercles. And right through the center of this thing is going to be the tendon of the long head of the biceps brachia. From here, it will come up and attaches to the parts of the scapula. As you come down to the side on the lateral part of the humerus, you have this little bump. This is known as a deltoid tuberosity. Extending more down, you will find out there are a couple of notches right in this area and some bumps. These bumps are known as the medial and lateral epicondyle of the humerus. Then you come right down the center, you can see there is a couple of articulating process. First one, which is on the medial side, articulates with the orna. The one on the lateral articulates with the radius. This one is known as a trochlea. This one is known as a capitulum. Capitulum is going to be articulating with the head of the radius. Then we have, as you come down in this section, you can see a little bit of bump that exiting from the ulna. This is known as a conoid process. And the conoid process fits into the conoid fossa part of the humerus. And as you can see, it will kind of uh, stop it from going anything farther than that. Then you go to the posterior part and look at on the back of the arm, uh, you can see this little bump which produces part of your elbow known as the olecranon process, which fits right into this fossa known as olecranon fossa of the humerus. Then right in this section here you have a little opening. This is for the ulna, the ulna nerve that exiting from here and goes down to the arm. You come down a little bit on the other side, you can see the presence of the radius. At the end of these two bones, you can see these bumps. There's a one bump here, and there's a one bump here. These are known as a stylot process. So this one is a stylot process of the ulna. This is a stylot process of the radius. Now, if you're looking at this here, you will see that the carpal bone that are sitting in your hand do not articulate with the ulna. They all only articulate with the radius, means the joint that is here. In our hand, we have eight carpal bones that are sitting in two rows, proximal row and also the distal row. The proximal row are going to be these four that you can see here. Okay, starts from the pisiform, triquitrum, lunate, and a scaphoid. Lunate and a scaphoid are the only two carpal bones that articulate with the radius. None of the other bones does. Then you come to the distal row that you're gonna go from the medial to lateral again. You can see the first one which is known as hamate. You see this little hook here? This is known as the hook of the hamate. Then from this one, this is capitate, this is trapezoid, and this is one trapezius. These are the eight bones that you have in your hand. Then you go to the metacarpals. You have five of them. Remember, your thumb is number one. And thumb in anatomical position is sitting on the side. So this is your first, second, third, fourth, and fifth uh, metacarpals. From there, you're going to go to your phalanges. This one is going to be proximal. Your thumb has only two, proximal and distal. But the rest of the fingers, they have proximal, middle, and distal phalanges that you can see. All right. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.